the readers. Our book today is My Dog is as Smelly as Dirty Socks by Hanich Piven. We are going to use this book today as a mentor text. There's many books you can use as mentor texts, which means you can read them just for information or you can read them for entertainment purposes, but they also give you the opportunity to teach a literary skill. So we're going to work on figurative language today and in particular similes. Similes are when you compare something to something else using the words like or as, and you'll see what I mean here. My teacher asked me to draw a picture of my family, and this is what I drew. I showed it to her, and she said, how great is that? But I didn't like it. Hmm, let's find out why. Look at my dad. There are so many things about him that you don't see in this picture. Like, my daddy is as jumpy as a spring and as playful as a spinning top. What a nice thing to say. But he is also as fun as a party favor, but sometimes he's as stubborn as a knot in a rope. Hear how all of those are metaphors? He compared his dad, or a behavior or a characteristic of his dad, to something else using the word as. So I made my picture better. That's him. Isn't he nutty? I love how the illustrator used the metaphors and actually made it kind of come through in the illustration. So cool. And what about my mom? This drawing of my mom. Sorry, but it doesn't tell the whole story. My mommy is as soft as the softest fluff and as bright as the brightest light. She is as tasty as the crunchiest cookie. No, tastier. She's as delici delicious as a croissant. I love croissants so much, especially when they're filled with chocolate. That's my yummy mommy. Mommy, I'm going to eat you all up. Look how she made mommy with the light bulbs and the croissant. So clever. What a fun art project you could even do at home. And now you're probably wondering what my big brother is really like. Well, my big brother is as amusing as a game of marbles and as strong as a baseball bat, but when we play hide and seek, he's as sneaky as a snake. Oh, and one more thing, he eats like a, I'll give you a clue, oink, oink. Did you guess the animal? A pig. That's my brother, right there. And what about my baby brother? He is not this quiet. My baby brother is as sweet as candy, this is true, but he never stops crying. He's as loud as a whistle, maybe a horn, or even an alarm clock. No, 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 louder. He's as loud as a fire truck. And then there is Schmutz. I'll be honest with you, Schmutz stinks. Schmutz is as stinky as an onion. He's as nasty as canned fish, as icky as pepperoni. Hey, I like pepperoni. And as dirty, as smelly as dirty socks. Turn the page at your own risk. Should we turn it? I'm going to turn it. Yucky boo, I warned you. I still think he looks cute. I like how he thinks he's so smelly he even has a clothespin on his own nose. But what about me? Well, there is so much I want to tell you about me. I am a princess, as majestic as a crown, and as sugary as a jelly bean. I am as sharp as a pencil, which means really smart. And as sparkly as a star. Wait, I have more. I am as colorful as a flower and as lovely as perfume. I am as strong as a stone and as good as an angel. Hey, I'm not done yet. I am as funny as a tickly feather and as curious as a magnifying glass. I like that one. I am faster than a calculator and all around as special as beach glass. But more important than all of that, my heart is big. And with it, I love my special family. Aw, I love that ending. Now, tell me about your special family. What do they look like? Here's a list of objects that can help you think about how to make portraits, that means pictures, of your family. Things that say smart, ruler, numbers, owl. Things that might say funny, like chattering teeth or a clown nose or a toy monkey. 
things that say scratchy, like steel wool or sharp teeth or cactus. Things that say soft, like teddy bear, cotton ball, slipper. Those do look very soft. I would like a pair of those. Things that say strong, like an action figure, an elephant, or a hammer. Look at some of these different ideas they came up with. What a great way to learn similes and also push your creativity. I hope each of you goes and you try this at home. Even if you don't do your entire family, do it for you. See you later, readers.